Welcome back to the Mr. G Computer Science channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates on new videos and give us a thumbs up for the video. So let's now look at the exam question. The following algorithm is used to determine a login ID. Complete the following trace table when the first name is given as James and the surname is entered as Bond. So let's now take a few moments to understand the code. So we have an input command and that's going to take a data type of type string and we are storing it in a variable with the identifier first name. Line 2, again we're taking a string input and we are storing it into a variable with the identifier surname. We are then assigning login ID with the string of first name dot substring. So it substring has two parameters. The first parameter is the starting position of the original string, and the second parameter is how many characters you'd like returned from this function. So as a reminder, Strings always start with an index position of 0, so in this case the J would be position 0, the A would be position 1, and so forth. So what this command would do is to go to the first character of the string, in this case that would be J, it would return one character long, so it would only return the J. It then concatenates or adds the second string, surname, to create the login ID. So in this case, that would create a new string called jbond. We've then got a conditional loop, um, which says login ID dot length is less than eight. So while the length of the string is less than eight characters long, we are going to run line number five, which means login ID is assigned the value of login ID concatenated with an asterisk. So in other words, add an asterisk to the end of the login ID string. And you will repeat this command until the while loop is false. Once that becomes false, the string literal login ID will be printed, followed by the contents of the variable login ID. So now we're going to step through this code line by line and completing our trace table. So now let's complete our trace table showing how I developed the solution. So we remember that our James is going into the variable identifier first name and Bond is going into the variable identifier surname. So we have our code here and we have our trace table. Let's just remind ourselves that trace tables are used to record the changes to the contents of our variables and any output where appropriate. So let's step through our code line by line. So line one, we have our string input for first name. So you can see we have line one and the impact on the contents of first name. Similar for line two, we have our bond read into the surname variable. Line 3, login ID is assigned the value of the string first name dot substring and substring has two parameters that it requires. The first parameter is the starting position within the original string of where you would like your substring to start. The second parameter is how many characters you'd like returning. 
So let's just remind ourselves that strings have a starting index position of 0, so the J would be index position 0, the A would be 1, the M would be 2, etc. So we are going to start our substring at position 0, which is the J. It's asking us to return just one character, therefore we will only return the J. So first name dot substring 0 comma 1 will return the J from James. We are then concatenating or we are creating a larger string by joining two or more strings with the contents of the identifier surname. So in this case the login ID becomes the substring J which is identified in this command here plus the entirety of surname which is bond. So our new login ID is the string J bond. We now come across line 4 which asks us to evaluate the length of login ID. So you can see here that the length of this string here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 characters long. Therefore this while loop is true, therefore I will execute line 5. So this is line 5 here. So what that does is, it takes the contents of login ID and it adds an asterisk to the end. So what it's doing is, it's taking the original contents of login ID, concatenate that with the asterisk to create a new string. Or in other words, add an asterisk to the end of the string. It then goes back and reevaluates line 4. So while the lo login ID dot length is less than 7. So let's check out the length of login ID. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 this time. So it's still true. It executes it, the string concatenation in line 5 again. So we get a second asterisk on the end. We go back up. Is the length of the string less than 8? Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's still true. So therefore, we add yet another asterisk to the end of the string. It goes back up. It takes the length of the string. Let's check out the length of the string. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 is not less than 8. Therefore, that evaluates to false. So the loop has now finished. It will now jump down to line 7. And you can see here there's a string literal being printed out of login ID. So you can see that text there. Then a space. Be careful that you notice that. There's a space in there. Followed by the contents of the variable login ID. In this case, J bond with the three asterisks after it. That completes our trace table question. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.